Hello, Nuggets. Okay, so sorry if I'm sweaty and out of breath. Just got back from a walk. I'm back on track. Um, so I said I was going to make a couple more about Alzheimer's. Okay, so here's the thing on my walk popped into my head. So there is um, a charity organization for Alzheimer's. There's tons of them. I'm just looking it up right now. Hang on. Because I got an email. What is it? It is two months for the Alzheimer's walk. It's just called Alzheimer's Los Angeles. Okay. Alzheimer'sLA.org. Okay. So I've been on the walk. Um, it's not really a walk. It's an amble, a little short stroll through, through parts of Los Angeles um, a few times. And last year I didn't go. And this year my friend who always organizes it, um, she's asked me if I want to go again. Um, and I'm trying to decide what to do. Here's the th reason why I didn't go on it last year. Uh, well, firstly, it's because I just I'm fed up with doing it. I, I want to heal. I want to move on. And it just reminds me every year how, I'm, how sad it is what happened to my mother, which I know is very selfish because the walk is filled with people who've been through what I've gone through, but they continue to want to find a cure. I'm opting out. I'm just, it's lame, I realize, but it's, that's the reason, whatever. Whatever is thought of it, that is the reason. But the other reason I don't go is um, the chairman well, the CEO of the charity um, earns like $1.5 million a year. And it pisses me off. It does. It pisses me off. I don't, I don't think he should be unpaid. Don't get me wrong. I, I think he should be paid. And people who are in favor of this guy, Harry, I'm blanking on his name. Uh, I should have looked that up before I did this. But people who are in favor of this guy are like, but he's bringing in a lot more. And I have no doubt that he's obviously very good, right? He gets paid that much money because the way he manages the charity brings in more money for the charity. I just have a problem with someone who runs a charity only $1.5 million a year. I think that's disgraceful. And I, I realize it's arbitrary. I realize the limit is depends on who you are. But my limit is not 1.5 because that's rich. That's someone making a hell of a lot of money. I don't think that after tax or whatever, that you should get paid $700,000 a year for running a charity. I just don't. I, d I don't think that that's right. I think if you're running a charity, you, I don't think you should be doing it for free because then you wouldn't be able to appeal to people who are good at the job. But I don't think you need to pay that much that people involved in it should be getting paid less. I don't mind if he gets paid 200,000 a year, which is a lot, <laughs> but I don't mind you know, it's LA, it's expensive to run here, and you're CEO of a massive charity. I'm fine with 200,000 a year. And I realize that number is arbitrary. It depends on what you think, right? But everyone has a number. People who would say, I think it's fine he gets 1.5. If you said, well, what about if you got paid 10%? What if you got paid 10 million a year, rather? Would that be okay? Yeah, some might say yes. What if he got paid? Then some might say it should be a percentage, like I just said, right? Maybe they'll say like, well, he can get a percentage. So the more that he brings in, the more he gets. Okay, so what's the percentage? 5%. Wow, it's a huge number. What about 10? Should he get 10? No, that would be... What I'm saying is there's a limit, right? And 1.5 is way beyond my limit. And I realized, and I was going through some anger about my mum's thing at the time when I realized this, so maybe I wasn't the most balanced at the time. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing raising money for this charity, which although it has at its heart a purpose which I believe in, right, which is curing Alzheimer's, it's, you know, of course I believe in it, I'm, go I'm going through it with my mother. But what, how do I feel about raising money for a charity that gives $1.5 million to their chairman? So I stopped doing it. I don't think it's right. I think it's disgusting. Now, it might have changed. I need to do some research because currently they're called Alzheimer's Los Angeles, and this might have been a different organization. I think I remember them branching off and I don't know whether it was because this guy Harry is it Harry Johns anyway this guy was getting paid too much or they didn't like the way it was being run or what have you Alzheimer's Los Angeles is a different organization but charity just leaves such a bad fucking taste in my mouth it really does it draws out so many parasites it, it draws out the extremes it draws out extraordinarily good people you know saints <laughs> who come out to, to support and they'll work tirelessly and they'll volunteer and they'll give their time. And then it draws out people who want $1.5 million a year for doing what they do. I just think that's fucking disgraceful. I think it's disgusting. So I stopped. Maybe I'll go again this year. I did go 
actually the first year I found that out, I still went on the walk, but I refused to raise any money. And then after that, I think that kind of distanced me enough from it. The following year, I just went, oh, I don't want to do it at all. But if I were a good person, I would go. I would go because I would keep supporting this thing that, and it might be too late for my mother, but it's not too late for everyone else. I'm just, I don't know, not the best part of my character, you know. Maybe I should go, but then I feel like I'm only going to be selfish. But I think all altruistic acts are selfish. I do. I think everyone is selfish in everything they do. Um, but then there's that little part of you, which is, I believe it's that little part of you that wants to be liked and wants to be pl applauded. That's what drives you. But maybe I'm a cynic and maybe I'm an asshole person. It could be that. So when it comes to this, maybe I will go on the walk and I'll, and I'll but I'll only be doing it because I want people to go, look, he's a good guy. He still went on the walk. I don't really feel that I'm doing much. I don't think the walk does much. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just naive. It doesn't seem to do anything except for give people hope who are on the walk. And I don't need hope that we'll cure it from the walk. I know we will cure it. You know, I know we will because the people who are currently researching it, 20% of them are going to get it or more. So they want to research it. They want to be part of the cure. I know that's a real fucking on the fence. Well, that's an outsider point of view. It's like, well, you're just you're releasing all responsibility for the progress of man by doing that. I am. I'm sorry. I'm shitty like that. I should be better at it. But, um, so yeah, $1.5 million for running a charity, I think is bullshit. I think you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I don't think you've, you earn that. No matter how good you are, you shouldn't be doing that. It's disgraceful. And uh, the number's arbitrary, but maybe it shouldn't be. And also, maybe it should be more publicly known. You had to, I had to dig a little bit to find that out. I would like to go onto the Alzheimer's webpage and see exactly what everyone gets paid at that top end. Actually, no, across the board. I want to know what they pay the people at the bottom. I want to know how many volunteers they have, and I want to know what everyone gets paid. I want absolute clarity. And it is there, but it's not. You have to go find it, right? Which is more feels like they're checking the box on the on the government or the state mandate on what you need to do to show clarity but they're not going out of their way to show you exactly what they're paying and i think the reason they're doing that is they know that 1.5 million dollars a lot of people will go what the fuck that's ridiculous i'm not giving you money so i think it's a bit dirty all right that's it out this alzheimer's isn't bad enough but maybe they do good work and i apologize if i upset someone if you happen to watch this and you get it through the tag correct me please correct me in the comments and tell me what i'm doing wrong and then I will hopefully reread and get better and improve if that's the case. And if I'm right, then join me in saying fuck you to them. All right. Fuck Alzheimer's. All right, you nuggets. Bye. I'm going to stop now. Hey, so I did a bit of research. I want to tag this on to the end. So the name of the guy who ran the old organization that ran the walk. The walk used to be run by Alzheimer's Association. The name of the CEO for that company is Harry Johns. Harry Johns earns $2.7 million per year. Oh my God, he must be so ashamed. Actually, he doesn't give a shit. He's got that much money. So that was why I stopped going, right? Fuck that guy. That's just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So then I looked up Alzheimer's Los Angeles, Greater Los Angeles, Again, I don't know why they branched off, whether it had anything to do with that. It could be nothing at all. But now they're their own organization. So I went to their website, and you can find it. It's, it's not written in plain English. You have to go through their 1099 to figure it out. But their 1099 is on the website. Um, and I'm looking through what they have. Firstly, they run at a massive loss. So I don't see why they're a good charity. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I don't know much about financials, so I could be getting it wrong. But basically... The revenue less expenses is negative $2 million, nearly $2 million per year. And the current year is $2.3 million. So they're actually getting worse and worse every year. Um, but I don't know enough to understand. Maybe that's some clever accounting. Maybe that's how they do it. I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's particularly well run. Uh, and I haven't compared it. Maybe I should have done that before I started this video. But there's a section which is compensation for... Um, uh, and hours worked for executives. Was it compensation for, of officers, directors, trustees, key employees, highest compensated employees, and independent contractors? Now, the new CEO of uh, 
Alzheimer's Greater Los Angeles. Her name is Heather Cooper Ortner. Uh, she apparently does 40 hours a week. She started in 9, 2017. So this is the 2018 um, 1099. So she only did five months or seven, seven months at the point when this was put in. Is that right? No, it's April. It's year to year. So no, three months. Jesus, what am I talking about? Have I got that wrong? No, three months. So her three-month salary is fifty-two thousand three hundred and eight dollars. Um, so she earns about two hundred grand a year, right? Which I would say is probably in my range of that's acceptable if they weren't running at a massive loss. And if if I sorry, I'm scrolling and you can't see this, but if it wasn't basically this situation, so contributions five million. 5.2 million. Program service revenue, 16,000. Uh, investment income from their investments, 255,000. Other revenue, 4,000. Total revenue, $5.5 million. Salaries, $4.6 million. That seems pretty bad to me. They are 90% of their revenue is going on, on salary. So, this doesn't seem good, even though they're not earning as much. And then, so I had said about um, Heather Cooper Ortner earning about 200000 a year. Maybe I'm misreading it. Correct me if I am. Um, but then they have um, other um, employees who earn a lot. So they have like Brent Schaefer, who's their VP of Finance. Gary Cohn, who's the VP of Major Gifts. Senior VP, whatever that is. Then they have like Executive Vice President, VP of Development Programs, Marketing, and Major Gifts. What is Major Gifts? So they earn like 144,000, 183, 187, 165, 129, 137, 125. So all of these people are earning um, a lot of money, basically, given the context of how much the charity makes. And the charity doesn't make enough to do that. So I'm not going on that walk. I don't think 200,000 is a lot. In Los Angeles, it's, it, it's okay. It's good. You know, it's not shit. You're not poverty line. It's, it's a good wage. Uh, all of these wages are, are decent, you know, um, but um, not in keeping with how much the charity is making. Frankly, she should be earning, I don't know, 60, 70,000 a year unless they earn more money. Um, and also still the association with Alzheimer's Association, the 2.7 million to Harry Johns, that fuck that guy. I mean, just the whole thing, just ugly. It's just so ugly. So I'm out. I'm not going on the walk. There you go. There's my answer. Maybe I'll send this video to my friend Colette and say, this is why I'm not going. I'll upset her. I don't want to do that. And I love her. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going. So there you go. And there's some financials for you. If you want to look them up yourself, you can go to alzheimersla.org. Um, and then let's see, how did I find it? Let me go alzheimersla.org. And then you go to about us financials. And on that page, you can see it, the form 990, not 1090. The Form 990, their financial statements and their annual report. So you can look through that stuff. Um, I wish they just had a plain text version, which would make it easier on everyone. But uh, maybe they're a small organization. They can't afford to do it. But then again, if they're a small organization, they should pay people less. All right, Nuggets. Have a good day. Bye.